very much, Richard. That's a very entertaining and very illuminating uh, discussion. I mean, to talk about emperor penguins for one second and rotten fish the next second begs a few questions. But also the comparison that you were drawing there between uh, uh, James Watt and his steam engine and the, the, the patent and the effect that that had on clamping innovation and the, the burst of innovation that came after is a very interesting comparison for, for the open for the software market. Let's move on to our final speaker. He's also from the world of academia. And uh, Joshua Benkler uh, is from Harvard. Uh, he's a faculty co-director uh, co of the Berkman Center for Internet and Society. Uh, he's also an author, uh, and his book, the, the, the Wealth of Networks, not The Wealth of Nations, uh, won awards. Uh, he is now going to give us a, a talk that explains a little bit, I think, if I've uh, understood your summary right, the, the, the advantages of, of innovation at the fringe and how, uh, this, how the, the new paradigm is really not centralized innovation, but innovation occurring at the edges. So let's see what I can actually say. Yeah. Um, so it's uh, great to be here. Um, uh, I'll try to go through a few things fairly uh, quickly. Uh, the core point is that a core common infrastructure open for everyone to use uh, uh, and freely uh, available for freedom to operate uh, drives innovation uh, just as much as it drives uh, democratic participation, cultural creativity, and this openness is necessary at every given layer of critical resources necessary for the process of innovation. Um, uh, Eleven years ago, a book came out uh, uh, by two uh, uh, fantastic economists who shall remain unnamed. We'll see why in the next couple of slides, I'll say. Um, and their opening chapter was that this is the new big thing, right? It would take this business model and it would put it out of business because you could actually combine lots of different things and do new and fascinating. And in fact, Britannica did have to drop from several thousand dollars to five hundred dollars and then eventually shame of shame on buycheapsoftware.com uh, only twenty nine ninety five. But of course this was not at all uh, what uh, 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 was the core innovation in encyclopedias. It was something that had you in February 2001 said to any room uh, of people, this in four or five years would be uh, treated by uh, nature as possibly no worse than Britannica uh, because there are these 900 stubs and anybody, nobody